What's up, travelers? Good evening from Turkish Airlines, A330 business class. It's about 2.30 a.m. here in Istanbul, and uh, I'm loving life right now. <laughs> about to head um, over to Asia, where we're first going to go to Singapore for um, about 22 hours, and then continue on to the Maldives. Hey guys, I'm currently in Jaipur, India, and I just want to take a quick moment to talk about this video's sponsor, which is Award Wallet. So you guys always ask me how I keep track of all my travel reservations, and one of the reasons I can keep such good track is that I use Award Wallet to import all my trips from my email, it all goes automatically into the app. I can just send it away to my family and friends and keep super easy track of it so I know exactly what I have coming up. They send me an email 24 hours before departure letting me know that check-in is open. They'll even continuously monitor my flight status letting me know of flight time changes, connection time changes, gate changes, giving me a lot more peace of mind when I travel. Just knowing that Award Wallet will keep track of everything for me. Award Wallet is being so generous and giving you all Award Wallet Plus for free for six months if you use coupon code nonstop Dan. I've left the link at the top of the description. One more thing I wanna let you guys know about is something I've been working on for so long because you can't imagine how many emails, DMs, tweets I get from you guys that are like essays asking such good questions. What mileage program should I join? This is my current situation. What credit card should I get? I live in this country and I don't really know how to start. And it's very hard to answer all these questions well enough in emails. So if you've ever sent me a DM or email that I've missed, I try to respond as much as I can, but it's hard, so I'm sorry if I've missed it. Now I have an opportunity to actually answer your guys' questions one-on-one -on -one using a service called Chatalive, where I've set up a one-hour slot on Saturday, February 9th, where you guys can book a five-minute appointment to speak to me. You can ask me any travel-related questions you want. We can chat, get to know each other better, take selfies, all that good stuff. I think this is just a great way for me to answer your questions and give you time to actually do that one-on-one -on -one, uh, in a much more effective way. Now, obviously, there are a lot of you guys. Chatalyze is a paid feature, but I don't wanna do this to get money from you guys. That's not what this is about. I just wanna be able to answer your questions. So, although there is a small price to do it, all the money that I make, which is 90%, 10% of the profit goes to Chatalyze, the rest goes to me. So the 90% that I make, will all be donated to the Soy Dog Foundation, which is a charity that takes care of homeless dogs, cats, and other animals in Phuket in Thailand. I volunteered there last summer. I think it's such an amazing organization. So if you have a question to ask me, this really is a great time to do so. And just know that the money that you're paying isn't going to me. Look at it as an opportunity to get a burning question answered and to give some money to a fantastic cause. I just need to charge so that I can somehow get to the people who have the most burning questions the easiest. So I really hope to see some of you there on the 9th. I'm gonna be reminding you again before that time though, but there are limited slots. So if you wanna to talk to me, you can book it at the link down below. Alrighty guys, sorry about the slow start. Here is Turkish Airlines' A330 business class and we're sitting next to a closet which is great because it gives us more privacy back here. Um, so you can see this is uh, quite a common seat across many airlines, this model. And it's super comfortable for sleep um, and back here it's even quite private. I just want to show you a few things about the seat on here. Um, of course, the big question for today's flight is, does Turkish Airlines' long-haul business class catering live up to its expectations? Is it really as good as people say? But first, I just want to show you guys, because Turkish Airlines has this little memory foam uh, lumbar support pillow, which is insanely comfortable. Uh, Oscar was just saying he doesn't know why other airlines don't have this, and I agree, it is so good when you just sit back. Over here as well, um, we have some storage here, but it's very far away from us. Um, the in-flight uh, magazines and stuff, uh, we can put our shoes down here. Then we have this super thin um, blanket, 
I don't know if this is all the bedding we'll have. Maybe we'll get real bedding later and this is just temporary. And then we also have a shoe bag. What does it say here? Enjoy your flight. Yes, and we have slippers. Awesome, let's check these out. Well, they look quite big for once. <laughs> you guys, at this hour, I know I always say, uh, since my Lufthansa first class review, my second one, uh, that you should never take your shoes off before takeoff due to safety. But oh, it's hard to resist putting these on right now. The seat controls with um, a small massage feature and the tray table just comes up out of here. And here's charging and a remote. So I'm pretty sure the entertainment system will be the same as on the, as on the previous flight. Um, let's just check. I'm gonna go into the comedy category. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. I settled in with some lemon mint juice, which is just, as you know, my favorite when I travel on um, any airline from this region. But, okay, I just can't get over how iconic this menu is. It opens up like this into the pattern of a mosque. What? How cool is this? Let's check out the contents. So we can pre-order breakfast uh, with this whole selection from the menu. They gave us a custom Turkish Airlines pen to do that. Then I had no idea Turkish Airlines has dine on demand. I don't know if it's on all flights or if it's just on this flight, but yes, 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 Turkish Airlines coming through with a good service. Now let's also check out the beverage list because Oscar pointed out they have chocolate milk. Whoa, oh my god, that sounds so good. I wish they had it with soy milk. And all these delicious sounding teas. And now we also have a wine menu. Oh wow, so check this out. Also, why is Turkish Airlines' boarding music so amazing? I love it. Listen, you guys. It sounds like some 80s or 90s movie with Robin Williams in it. say is avoid Turkish until the new airport is officially open because the old airport oh boy that almost I almost had a breakdown in there that was not a fun experience but the new one looks stunning so just a few months ago all right so here's the amenity kit that looks like it has um, been put in a vacuum <laughs> and just gone <laughs> but let's check out what's inside it's from molten brown which is fancy as heck so um yeah i'm expecting the contents to be equally fancy all right you guys so here are all the contents and as you can see it's a pretty nice collection of things um nothing out of the ordinary and we really only have two products from molten brown but um still Still quite a nice kit, although it would be epic if it said Turkish across the sleeping mask so I could brag that I've flown them. If you want to win an unopened Molten Brown kit, because Oscar's been kind enough to give his away, uh, today's question to comment below is just, what was your favorite subject in school? Let me know down below. You can comment as many times as you want to enter, and one of you will be randomly drawn to win this kit. Hey guys, so I'm just editing the video and I'm gonna draw the winner of my last giveaway, the Singapore Airlines A330 Business Class Amenity Kit. So let's see who wins. Let's do the drawing. What's gonna happen? I'm randomly selecting a comment and the winner is Martin Babika. Congratulations. Please comment below so that 
I can reach out to you or send me a DM or anything. And I look forward to selecting another one of you guys in the next video if you comment below to win the amenity kit on this one. The safety video definitely competes with Virgin America for my favorite of all time. So good. Okay, we also have a noise canceling um, headset kit now and I always get this question and I feel like I just need to answer it again. No, you do not get to keep these. You have to leave them on board. Oh wow, these look super faint. And we're pushing back in the stormy weather. Still just as stormy as when we left or when we arrived about seven and a half hours ago. Yes, Turkin Air Turkin Turkish Airlines also has onboard cameras on their A330s. served an hour and a half after takeoff, which is quite late if you ask me on just an eight hour overnight flight. But here you can see the presentation is stunning, especially at this part. Although this is the same appetizer I got on the previous flight, um, this still does look very beautiful. And I'm watching the movie Arrival with Oscar. Um, okay, you guys. Uh, we have exactly the same main chorus as on the last flight. You'd think that many, since many of Turkish Airlines' passengers are connecting, they would have a larger variety of meals, but um, okay. So I don't know what you guys think about this, getting the same meal twice on two flights in a row. This has actually never happened before. And finally, a little bit of fruit in a cup for dessert. Okay, so the meal service is over. Sorry if it's a bit dark, you guys, but here's just a look at the bedding. We have a mattress pad, two pillows, and a nice thick blanket. Sorry it's not focusing. Let's enter bed mode. Okay, and here is the seat in bed mode. Surprisingly, I'm not sure if this there's something wrong with my seat or what, but the bed actually isn't lie flat. It's slanted and you can see that really clearly if I remove the pillows here. Look at that. All right, I guess it will be a nice sleep anyway and obviously this is much nicer than any type of seat you get uh, in economy. So I'm super happy to have this, but still interesting that it's not fully lie flat. Breakfast has been served. Uh, I suddenly have a lot to say. It's weird. Like, I sleep and suddenly I have so much to tell you guys, but I really do. Anyway, I'm going to tell you that in a second, but here's a look at the breakfast. Um, we have some olives, cake, fruit, um, tea, and uh, we are approximately over Dhaka, Bangladesh. Actually, there's one thing I want to say before I start eating. Um, I don't really see the point in waking people up two and a half hours before landing for a breakfast like this served on a tray. It just seems so unnecessary. If they're going to bring it all out on a tray, just have people eat it straight at once. They could bring it out literally 45 minutes before landing and everyone would be done in good time. I know I sound like a diva, but it's the small things that matter. Here's the main course of the breakfast. Not quite sure what this is, but it actually looks quite good. And the chef confirmed that apparently this is a vegan cake. Yes. Okay guys, we're approaching Hanoi. My transit point on the way to Singapore. Check this out. 
are you ready for a long ass list of concluding thoughts because as you can see I think by the title of this video I do think certainly after my flight from Frankfurt to Istanbul and this flight the Turkish Airlines is the best airline in Europe they definitely deserve to be on a higher pedestal than Lufthansa and I would gladly fly them again I think the food was quite good the entertainment system is great the seat was comfortable and there's just this aura of um, like luxury and attention that you don't really get on most other European airlines but I do have a, quite a long list of feedback. Without further ado, let's go through the list. The first thing, and I know this is personal preference, but the cabin was boiling. It was so hot, and that's not really a problem. Like many airlines, like Cathay Pacific, uh, or just Asian airlines in general, will usually have hot cabins, but the solution is always to have um, individual air vents which Turkish doesn't have, at least on this A330, which is a shame. Another small problem is that there's only really one dedicated lavatory for business class. And keep in mind, there's four rows of six people, so that's 24 seats plus another two on the side, so 28 seats um, in total in this cabin, and only one dedicated lavatory, which just is too little, because after the meals, the waits were really, really long. Another small thing, it didn't really bother me, but if if you are sensitive to the seat not being entirely flat, uh, this A330 seat wasn't entirely flat. Also the service, I say this all the time and I think it is really important, it's something the airline can do to really help out uh, by changing the service structure, which would be just to create more personalized service where you have a flight attendant who's dedicated to take care of you instead of people just coming all the time. And last but not least, the biggest problem I had with this flight, which really disappointed me, was how much time they spent on the meal services. Dinner wasn't done until two hours after takeoff, so we had six and a half hours left. But then they woke everyone up with so much noise and rattling and all the cabin lights went on two and a half hours before landing for breakfast. So four and a half hours of the flight were kind of occupied by the meal service, meaning there were only really four hours to sleep. And even though the menu said there was dine on demand, uh, like you can't really customize it enough because you won't be sleeping through all the noise. So I think that's really a shame. But yeah, those are just a few thoughts I had on what made Turkish Airlines um, maybe not be in the top league of world airlines. But I still had a great trip. Don't take this negativity too heavily because I was still overall really happy with my flight. And as I said, it's still the best airline in Europe. So I'm so happy I got to try them, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out. Comment below what you thought about this flight and let me know if you've flown Turkish before and how your experience was and until I see you all next time flexi oh hello there all right you guys here is the bird that took me in from Istanbul styling in Hanoi Okay, Oscar just had something he wanted to add. What did you feel? I was impressed. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs>